and on to the good stuff. Let's just cut this away. off. It's got the four little clips off. We'll take the glass plate off. We'll take these out. We don't need them at the moment. Okay, that's the back of the, the actual printer itself. Now what I'm going to do is just have a quick, quick look underneath. Make certain everything is... Okay, so I'll just check the eccentrics. Central bolts, as I should say. We'll have a tinker with them in a sec. Okay, the middle wheel is spinning. That's actually the eccentric bolts. So I'll just get on the other side here and give that a bit of a, bit of a nudge to tighten him up a tad. There it is. It's tightened up. That's a little loose. I know I'm doing this back to front. We should have it round the other way, but that'll do for the moment. And we got eccentric nuts on the other side it's all right that one's okay Just a little loose to me so I'm happy with that now I'll just turn it over and put it the way it's meant to go and just be very careful with it just check the table that it's sitting on this table is not the squarest as you can see it's not it's not the frame it's my table so don't worry okay it's looking Okay, now we'll go and take the clips for the moment, pop them aside, and I might move that over and bring this one forward. Let's see if that's better. Okay, I've got to um, cut the little plastic ties, which we'll get on to. Really doesn't take long to get the printer up and running, they're really fast. So that's out. I'll get that one. That one's out. That one's out. We don't need no, foam in there that can come out. And down the bottom here. There, that's out. pretty straightforward. Now we'll just move a few things around again back into here and uh, the gantry just fits up on top. Which way does it go? Looks like it might go that way. Yep, I'm guessing that'll be it. Okay so now it's just a matter of putting the little bolts which is sitting at the back here. It's these little devils here. They've got to come up underneath the, the frame which we'll get onto in a second. I'll just uh, reposition a few things again. That's the first bolt in position. I've got to get the second one in position, which is give or take. That feels about it there. I'll pop the two down the bottom here, which is probably out of view again. Everything's out of shot. That just gives you an idea of how fast it is to put the little mini together. Okay, they're both in. Now I'll just tighten this up a tad. I'm 
not over tightening at the moment. I'm just making certain that um, the bolts go in. Goes in there. And the ones down the bottom, same sort of thing, just tighten them up. I might have to angle the camera down a little bit more for you so you can see what I'm doing. We're nearly ready to go. It's that quick to put one of these things together. We've still got to put the uh, end stock in, which is uh, again very simple. Make certain you don't over tighten anything because you are working into aluminium and of course you can easily strip threads so you just do it tight but not overly tight. So that's the bottom ones and there we go. Nearly ready for printing it's, it's unbelievably fast. Now all I've got to do is fit the little limit switch which goes in on this side here, long again, basically with these things you just open these up a little bit, the little T-bolts. That's better. Okay, and make certain that you've got the, the little um, end stop poking up, otherwise you're going to have uh, absolutely nothing happening. So we just slide these in. I suppose I could turn it on the side. Yeah, I'll, I'll turn it on the on the edge here for you. Give you a better idea of what I'm doing. Just turn it around there. There we go. So as I was saying, this just simply slots in position up under here. And uh, just angle these in the right, right way. And that's it. You just tighten them up. The little T bolts lock into the channel. That's secure. Okay. Now, one thing you've also got to do is make certain you can see this is spinning. And the reason it's spinning, you've got to tighten up these little grub screws. If you don't tighten the grub screws, you won't get any, any motion at all in here. So, yeah, we better get onto that. Um, what size? Like the smaller ones. So, grab the little pack of goodies and see which one it is. Is it that one? Yeah, that's it. Okay. And you just tighten them up a little bit. So when you rotate now, you can see everything else is moving, the, the actual shaft is shifting, so that's all that matters. We've got it locked in position, just double check again. Okay, well, we are pretty well good to go, apart from the wiring. Gantry is nice and solid. Yep. There we go, that, that's looking pretty good to me. All we've got to do now is just simply wire it up. Yeah, while I've got the uh, printer still on my table, you do get a few spares. That's an extra little um, thumb screw in case you lose the ones on your um, filament holder. A couple little T-bolts, um, Bowden tube, they're spares. So it's rather nice to have. Now with the uh, assembly for the little um, spool holder it's just simply a matter of two little bolts in the back here this simply unscrews unscrew this bit here pop it through the back tighten it back up again and you've got yourself a filament stand you can't get much easier than that and one thing I should have mentioned earlier when I had it in the other room the cables they're all beautifully labeled 
I've just learned it's easier to plug the end stop in before you actually bolt it up otherwise it's a devil of a job coming in up underneath so here we are all wired up very very simple all you've got to do is simply follow the uh, lettering so as you can see there there's an E for an extruder I'll just zoom back out again I'm holding the camera so it's a bit of shake so just up here with me so we've got uh, E for the extruder up the very back here you've got the uh, Y axis motor connecting in with strangely enough a letter Y there's a smaller connector up the back which goes to the end stop on the side here you've got the X connector here if I can get it in there it is see there's the X going into the motor you've got down further you've got the oh was it the Z there it is the Z connector at the back there going into the the Z motor which is the one right down the bottom here which is this one and you've got the little end stop which fits in round up in under here see if I can just, I'll go the other oh there it is it's zoomed in so there you go so there's the little end stop in there so it's pretty pretty easy you really can't um, can't make a mistake with the wiring on it uh, yeah, it might help if I connect the, <laughs> connect the boat and tube first. <laughs> so that goes in, I'll uh, pop that in. I'm getting ahead of myself a little bit. Okay, so that's sitting in. And we've got one more, one more lead to um, tidy up, which is in the back here. So basically, once that's done, it's uh, ready to load some filament into it. And... Uh, fire it up for the first time we'll see what it comes out like the um, glass that comes with it looks quite flat uh, I can't see any any waves in it when you're sort of holding it up to the light so we'll take it out of its plastic and uh, we'll pop it on the bed again having a look can't see any distortions at all that's good that looks like it's going to be dead flat so yeah that's uh, that's good the other glass I had with the uh, CR-10S had a bit of a warp in it so it's nice to see that they've fixed it slide that in and then pop in place a couple of little clips and we'll fire it up for the first time. Let's see what happens. See if it goes bang. Yeah, that's a good start. Yeah. There we go. CR-10 Mini. Yeah, as you can see, I'm a little, little <laughs> tight for space, so have to wait for the other print to finish, I think, and uh, rearrange the top of the desk, and then I'll pop some uh, filament on and uh, level the bed, and uh, see how we go. And there we go, We've got the first print started. So the first layer's gone down okay on it. It's just printing the little cap at the back there. And there we are. That's the uh, first print the Mini has actually produced. So that's the stress relief. The little um, bit that fits on the back of the bed there. Yeah, it's a bit hard to see, but um, after I've printed out the strain relief bracket, uh, only to discover it doesn't fit the new bed the plug is a different one so uh, don't waste your time printing off the SD card because this strain relief does not fit the mini oh well as you've just seen I've got myself a spare strain relief this particular unit um, doesn't fit the mini but all in all, it's still a decent print, nothing wrong with this, it's quite nice. So now I've got to spare one of these. Uh, any suggestions as to what I can do with it? <laughs> and be very polite please, comments below. And uh, thanks for watching.